meeting Wednesday night. Um, for our agenda, I'd like to call the meeting to order. Can someone please make a motion? Motion to call it to order. Second. Second it, anyone? Christine did. Okay, okay, excellent. All right, any questions or comments on the uh, minutes from last week's meeting? I know Derek's uh, supplies. Acceptance. Within, acceptance uh, Derek's of minutes. Within, go ahead, uh, go ahead, I'm sorry. Oh, I said I move acceptance of the minutes. Okay, okay. yep. Excellent, excellent. Uh, item C, uh, any public comments to discuss, Derek? Anything going on there? No. All righty. All right, so our goal here, item D, our goal here tonight was to shave 46000 off the budget. Uh, Christine and Tom, before you guys hopped on board, uh, Bob and Mike and I were just talking about one option we want to throw out there. Bob, go ahead. Uh, throw that out to the committee. Um, if everybody's in agreement on what we agreed on last week, based on the responses we got from Kathy, if we remove the Four Seasons unit, it'll bring us down to 896747 And if we want to tell them if they have the extra money, put the 100000 towards that unit, it'll bring us up to just under a million or just over under a million, and that unit will come off the list next year with another 50,000. Yep. Any committee members, any comments, questions? So does that mean that we have some extra dollars to apply uh, to other expenses or that's it once we uh, take this off. Well, we need to drop 46,000 to get to a million and then we need to come up with another 100,000 that's additional expenses if they have the money after the 900,000. So it's... So we get, that's one issue, getting it down to under a million and item, Christine answered your question, item two is all right, we have $100,000 maybe of house money and what do we do with that hundred thousand? Um, so, yeah, the the four season unit that that's a hundred and fifty thousand coming off, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, so we're looking for a million and one point one. Yes. Nine and a million. <clears throat> oh, I thought it was a million and one point one, Derek. Yeah, the discussion was we were going to target nine hundred thousand as the base recommendation. Okay, and my bad. Provide an extra hundred thousand dollars in recommendations in case town council was able to allocate more funding to it. Okay. Uh, based on that, the unit would handle both. It would get us down under nine hundred thousand, and it would give them a hundred thousand to put towards it if they find the money. Or whatever they find, and then the rest of it we can put on it next year and get rid of this item off the list next year. I like the idea. Yeah, I, I had it on my list to, to come off, so that I support it. Tom, Tom, you okay? Yep. Okay. That works. Okay, so you see, I I just took that hundred and fifty thousand dollars out, and we're at eight ninety six. Yep. Um, so, what was the recommendation for the hundred thousand more? Would it go into this this project as yep. partial funding if it was available? That was my recommendation. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That would be it, Derek. Okay. So then we'd be funded next year. We'd be funding fifty thousand, correct? Or whatever they come up short, but yeah, you know. to get it done. At least, yeah, we're there. We're just about there. And everyone was comfortable with the fifty thousand towards um, the plan of conservation and development, uh, sixty thousand rather, and then we'd commit to forty thousand, or you commit to forty thousand dollars next year. Well, it sounds like we need to hit those dates of what twenty two and twenty three, right? So. Yeah. Uh, then let, yeah, I, I, I say leave it in. Okay. Yeah, I was fairly satisfied I'm, with everything I'm else. Good. Yeah. 
I am too. I think it's uh, I think the way we spread everything out, it looks. I think it looks good, and we again get a few things off the list, and then next year a few more things off the list. So, so are we gonna are we gonna recommend to the park and recs also about uh, taking that taking that Millwoods parking lot money and put it into the basketball resurfacing? Remember that came up, and she said she was the email yeah, she, stated that she was good with doing that. Yeah, I believe That's our amount we allocated was that with them doing that to get enough. Yeah. Is that something we recommend through this, uh, Gary? Do you know, or Derek, or is that just let them deal with it? Uh, I think it's got to be a part of your recommendation. So we'll give we'll give them the list of what what you've allocated funds to, and notate that there was okay. a recommendation to move those CIP funds from one project to the other. I believe we were we were talking about two things. One was Millwood's parking lot moving the thirty four thousand nine hundred and seventy over to um, to the uh, courts. Yep. Yep. As as a priority five, and then the other discussion was moving the twenty five thousand dollars in Little League Classic Field to the Greenfield fence to supplement the twenty eight thousand dollars that you've allocated. And give her a complete project. I like that too. Yeah. I like that. I think that's perfect. Okay. Okay. So if I guess if everyone's all set with that, then I'll. Uh, <clears throat> that's all I need. I think to move forward, I'll put the list together. We have to go to planning and zoning first. Um, so I'll get on their agenda. Yep. And then come to town council. Sounds good. Could I we just have... ask, not, not, not to, to muck things up, but I, I've been thinking about um, the town bridge inspections. Um, am I correct that it looks like another 20K will complete it? Um, it is, uh, I believe, uh, a, is it safety and mandate? I'm having a hard time looking at the small print there. But, um, you know, what happens if... Um, if we wait, uh, and then do we get behind on the phase one assessment that's been done? You know, do we have to come back and do another look at those bridges? So uh, it didn't seem like a lot of money. So I, I just, you know, was gave some thought to it and wonder what others uh, thought about it. Uh, yeah, to answer the question, I, I, just so I understand, are we talking about Tom Bridge inspections phase two, line yes. reference four? Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, it doesn't look like you, the full the full amount was allocated. Um, yes, what what happened was last year, uh, I was given twenty thousand dollars to do the phase one assessments, which have been done, uh, or maybe it was two years ago. So those have been done. Those were the most critical bridges. The phase mm -hmm. two assessments are to look at the remaining town bridges, so we have a complete inventory. So to answer your question, I, I think you know passing on that this year is not. There's no harm in that. Um, it is something I want to do, so we make sure that we're not missing something. Um, but based on some DOT screenings, which is really quick investigations, they gave us a list, and we've already uh, inspected those. Okay. Okay. Just it didn't seem like a lot of money to get it done, but uh, if, if it can wait, that's fine. And uh, on the firehouse assessment, uh, I was taking another look at that. Uh, it is Rich's number one item, and it is a mandated priority. Um, I, I just want to make certain that, um, you know, the original ask was 50K. We've given him 25K. Do, do we know if he can work with that? Will that get the town what they need, um, you know, to be able to, uh, you know, to make some decisions? On that, I, I was looking at the exhaust. Uh, you know, we're, we're funding the the entire request, and I believe it, is it the first time that it's on there. I just wondered if we should look at maybe doing two of the firehouses instead of the three to put more into the architectural assessment. If they don't need the money, then put it back into the exhaust. But um, 
I just I picked up on that being a mandate. So uh, I don't want to the first time create for risk. Both of them. Yeah, but uh, the architectural assessment is mandated. So I just want to make certain maybe hear from the town manager that, you know, um, Gary, you're okay with uh, how, how we've got the money split right now. So you've got 25,000 of the 50 going for meeting the um, locker rooms and was it 45,000? For the exhaust. For the exhaust. <clears throat> and is the question more along the facts of fact of well, there's a mandate, so shouldn't we be funding the mandate first? Or putting more money at it, maybe an additional fifteen to give them forty. Uh, you know, where did the fifty come from for the architect? Are you going to be able to get someone for twenty five? I was just thinking if we put more money towards that because it's mandate. If you don't need it all, then Rich can put it towards uh, uh, doing three. Oh, I see what you're you saying. Do, so if you, if you, you do the math, it comes out to like 15,000 uh, per firehouse. I got you. So your thought was you'd take some of the 45, put it all to the fire state, to the architectural design for addition, whatever carries over goes back to the exhaust. Yeah. Don't have automatic fans. So I think it's, if I could comment, Gary, I think it's probably better, and that's why you threw it out there, that we do all all three fire stations, get a better deal and with the exhaust uh, extractors. So that's versus doing maybe two out of three, get all three done. It is safety. I know mandate's important. And I guess to Christine's point, yeah, can 25,000, I mean, how, how detailed is this addition? And 25,000 is a nice down payment, you would think, to get, you know, some type of renderings or drawings or, or at least a, an idea uh, of, of what they want. Are they adding on to the building or are they just re redesigning it? It's an addition. It's an addition. Okay. But what, what about if we added another 5,000 to it without changing anything else? That would only put us just over 900,000. Uh, the fact you put 50 up there, I, I just want to make certain we're giving them enough to, to work with. Ha having worked with architects on the high school, they're, they're not cheap. So. No, no, no. But. I, I, Christine, you, you offer a very good point. I'm, I'm kind of hamstrung on this one simply because I did miss his presentation. So I don't know what questions he already responded to in terms of, you know, was 50,000 the number? Did he go out and solicit? Because you know, typically, and maybe Derek can answer this, I'm sorry to punt to you, but did he go out and kind of get three quotes or talk to someone to get a roundabout idea of 50 or where did the number come from? Right. Um, you know, I don't, I don't want to submarine him if he, if he needs 40, if he knows he needs 45 to get the exhaust done. And I absolutely understand mandate versus safety. At the same time, these guys are responding to fires on a regular basis. You've got a truck idling in there. So now you have a health issue. Right, but you got women too, not just guys. Yeah, no, I get it. I get it. I, I'm playing that same balance in my mind out loud, but you know, without talking to Rich, I, or without knowing where that fifty thousand came from, you know, you could get an architectural rendering done for thirty-five potentially. I'm making this up, and you're right. right you, could, you could put the money back um, over. Um, if I remember his presentation, he didn't have any quotes or anything. He just came up with 50 based on talking with Kathy on past time, things they've had done and stuff that he thought it was going to be expensive and he thought 50 would be a good number. Right. That, that's what I recall too. I, I believe he said, I don't believe they had actual quotes. I think from what I recall, Rich said he spoke to Sally Katz and Sally said 50. Oh, sorry. Sally. Yep. Yeah. Well, I, I leave it, I leave it where it is, because uh, my thought is he could get a number coming back saying 30 and we could figure out where that 30, where that extra 5,000 comes from. I agree. I agree. I agree. I, yeah. I, I hate to throw rest Rich under a bus, but I'm thinking, and I understand your point, there are, you know, female firefighters and I don't want to discredit the fact that you need to meet that compliance uh, or that mandate. Uh, at the same time, it affects anyone in that house, male or female or animals, if you don't have corrected ventilation or exhausting. 
Yeah, no, I, I, absolutely. But it is new to the list, as is the other. But just looking at, yeah, mandate and, and safety. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's a fine line there. But uh, I, I just, you know, want to be on record as, you know, as making that point. And, um, you know, we rely on uh, the volunteers and we need more of them. So uh, if they're, you know, men, women, um, you know, yeah. the, the more the better for us. So, uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I just wanted to uh, have that conversation and hearing from you as the town manager that uh, you're fine with this breakdown. I'm, I'm good with it. Extremely valid point. Um, but yeah, I, I'm okay with where, where it's placed. If I uh, might interject, make a little uh, muddy the waters, if you will. Um, from what I understand, there are not women's locker rooms at one or three either. So I think two was picked because there happens to be female uh, firefighters there. So you're kind of leaving yourself open for, you know. Lawsuit. The other two firehouses are not equivalent. Yeah, Can I think we, we talked at, yeah, I thought we talked at the meeting, though, that you, you could assign uh, the women to that um, one facility. That was brought up, and I agree with Christine. Yeah, they could go to that one facility. At least we could get done and, and fixed up for both. Um, yeah. we, we should be all set at least by getting one firehouse done, at least for now. Yep. Yeah. All right. All right. Anything else? Do we need to just vote or adopt this budget? Uh, Derek, what's, uh, what's per protocol? Yeah, I would just say, you know, vote on it and, okay. uh, that would be uh, suitable. All right. Everyone, uh, I vote for approval. Approval. I approve. All righty. So our two budgets are adopted. Excellent. Thank you. All right. On to item E, old business. Uh, I don't think we have anything uh, old to talk about. Anyone? No. All right. And this is our, our last meeting since we're able to get this done. So we'll not need a February 17th meeting. Um, Thank you, everyone. Uh, good work as usual. And um, I'd like to make someone like to make a motion to adjourn this meeting. Could could I just ask procedurally? Yep. So, are we going to uh, just reconnect at six o'clock? We're not able to continue the the pavement discussion. That has to be at six. No, no I I just was guessing at what time this might end. I, I suggest um, let's keep. Now, well, right? I'll close out this meeting and I'll open up that meeting. If you click on that link, that way um, we have a totally separate meeting for just that discussion that I can. Okay. Record. So you, uh, I'll make a motion then to adjourn this meeting. Second. Second. Excellent. Thank you, everyone. Okay, Derek, you... Before we go, what's the meeting called for the other meeting? <laughs> or is it the same code? Uh, it should be in the invitation that I sent you. So I'll go, you don't, I'll don't go have it. it I'll go here, do you, it up. Give me a call. Here, do you want it? Do you have it? Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, yeah. It's uh, 9-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1